let's just begin seated with our breath. I'd like to introduce another breathing style in the beginning of our practice, just to allow the energy to balance before moving into the belly button. So ground your hands on your thighs for a moment. Simply just press down into your thigh bones. Get your back nice and tall. Good, open up your hands. If it feels comfortable to connect them to pointer or any other finger, go for it. If not, keeping them nice and soft on your lap. And then sweep your spine long, open up through your heart, close your eyes, and arrive by taking a deep breath in and letting it out through the nose or mouth, whatever comes natural. And as you inhale, breathe fully back into your body and let it out through the nose the second round. Just arrive into the feeling state, feeling of what the body feels like right now, feeling of where the mind's at, feeling of where the heart's at today. As we center to our last 60 minute practice on this cleanse, Come into the awareness that yoga is the practice of holding center in the midst of change and chaos. And we are in a time in our life that we are best to put that into perspective. Life will not stop, challenges will not stop, changes will not stop. But know that they are always there to test us, there to lead us there to show us a path of growth, there to unravel another layer of growth, another layer of awareness, essentially another layer of self. So what we achieve on the mat is to stay clear, it's to stay cleansed, it's to stay lit so we have that understanding when that which doesn't serve us or those who don't serve us for those that have allowed something to stir the pot within, arise. And we begin to notice what, de and what and who depletes us and what and who lifts us. And it all starts right here. So I just want you to thank yourself for dedicating the last four weeks to showing up for yourself. Let's begin by tuning back to your body. Eyes soft breath active, breathe in on the inhale, breathe down towards your belly, breathe up on the exhale, lift from the roots and press the air out, lengthen your back and sweep it in and up, breathe down on the inhale to send the air into the surface of the earth and to everything that has and always will support you. Breathe up on the exhale, as if to collect from the earth that which you deserve to light you up. Breathe down on the inhale to create a softening, to create that willingness to unravel. Breathe up and collect and squeeze and lift on the exhale as a reminder of your growth that a couple more times. Simply just noticing the inhale drop to the roots of the earth that are your foundation. And noticing the exhale start to rise from the roots to give you that ability to grow. Then gently float your eyes open. Take your dominant hand, curl your fingers under, extend your thumb, your pointer, and your pinky. Place your index between your brows and just simply massage the tip of your index between your eyebrows. Take your thumb, close your right nostril, breathe into your left for one. Breathe out. Take your pinky, close your left nostril, breathe into your right. Breathe out. Keep your right open, breathe in. Plug it as you hold and then exhale through the left, breathe out. Breathe into the left, balancing the brain here, plug your left nostril, exhale to your right. Inhale to your right, nice long back. Plug your right, exhale to your right, getting the energy out and in. Inhale to your left, 
Plug your left, exhale to the right. Inhale to the right. Plug your right, breathe out to the left. Inhale to the left. Balancing the energy in your spine and brain. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the right. For an ancient breathing practice, exhale to the left. Inhale to the left, nice long back. Our alternate nose breath, exhale to the right. Stay here, inhale to the right. Exhale to the right. Stay in the active state as you release your arms down. Observe the breath two more times into the nose, down to the roots, and up and out through the nose. One more, just like that. And then plant your hands face down and sweep your spine forward. Inhale, half the circle. Exhale to complete. Feel your back be nice and long here and your sit bones root to the earth as that foundation is the sit bones on a physical level. And then shift in the opposite direction, just allowing your spine to feel free here, enjoying these nice rhythmic rotations through the neck, the shoulders, and the head is an extension of your spine. Find your center here as you inhale, sweep up from the earth, reach to the sky. As you exhale, gently press out, and then begin to play here. It's a nice movement of your arm bones, perhaps sweeping it in and sweeping it out. Really no right or wrong way to do it, except to keep the breath going and keep your spine long. Nice moment to create your own dynamic wave of movement, accompanied by your belly bonfire breath. And inhale, reach up, circle back, inhale, reach up, circle back. So keep this movement going just for a moment here. And find your center point, hands to your thighs. Inhale, reach the arms up, come forward. Exhale, curl back. Hug to your center, fist to your lower waist. Inhale, center forward, exhale, nice long back. Two more like this. Exhale, and one more. Exhale, nice. Do you find your center point? Reach up on the inhale. Turn to the right on the exhale. Look at me, get nice and long with your whole back. And wait for your next exhale to lift from your pelvic floor and lower belly while you spiral through that exhale over your right shoulder. Nothing too deep, even take your left hand off to make sure that you're not springing back through your lower back. Inhale, breathe down. Exhale, a nice hug from the roots. Sweep the breath up. Inhale, center, reach to the sky. Exhale, take it to the left. Nice long back as you inhale. Use your exhale to move from the rib cage and higher out to the left. Nothing too deep of a grip here on the right side, so you may even take the hand off and notice if that springs you back. Deep breath down on the inhale. And nice active exhale. Exhale pulse pulsation to stimulate your detox on that out breath. Remember, your breath is everything. Inhale, reach up. Interlock your hands. Lightly press your palms up. And exhale, circle them down. Take your right hand over your heart, your left hand over your belly. Take a deep breath down as you inhale to the roots of the earth, softening the pelvic floor. Exhale, pick up the pelvic floor, squeeze the belly, draw it in and up. Inhale, soften, breathe down, back to your foundation and surrender. Exhale, pick it up from the root, give it a nice lift, a spark to grow as you exhale. On the inhale again, create length, create softness, create space. Exhale, pick it up from the root so that even when life gets shaky as it is, can we see the lesson? Can we see the growth? Inhale, soften, breathe down. Feel the foundation always there, your net always there to catch you. Exhale, pick it up from the root, squeeze your belly inward and upward and get nice and fierce. Exhale, soften, inhale. Just a gentle release. Inhale to breathe down, offer that space. 
exhale to get a nice lift, a hugging, as if there's a blowtorch in your center beginning to spark to represent that growth that awaits you. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pulse up. Inhale, soften down to the pit of your core and beyond. Exhale, pick it up from the pelvic floor, squeeze the belly in and up. So knowing that the breath represents so much, the inhale is that foundation, that neck, that safety that's always there. And that exhale is that growth, that spark, that light that begins to ignite. It only lights when awareness is lit. It does not just come if the awareness and you are not ready to receive. Inhale, breathe down. Exhale, nice lift. Good, let's slowly release. Go ahead and take your feet in front of you and plant your big toes nice and actively together. With your big toes nice and active, go ahead and inhale, reach up. Keep your toes together, palms together. Exhale, lean to the right and lean back. Inhale, center. Exhale, lean to the left and breathe out. Inhale, breathe down. Exhale, give a nice squeeze and lift to the right. So just start to awaken that foundation, that core center, that safety net. Inhale here, exhale, pulse. Good. Notice as you lean back, your spine stays long, so you're not rounding in your shoulder blades. Exhale. Nice press of your root, your foundation of the seat down. Inhale, center, exhale, squeeze and twist. Inhale, center, exhale, lift your breath and twist. Okay, let's change it up. Come up on the inhale, gather your knees, give yourself a nice hug. Plant your toes down, take your hands under your kneecaps, keep your toes together, inhale, open, exhale, open the knees, inhale, length, exhale, lift your heart. Two more like this, option to even take the hands off the thighs, if you can maintain a nice strong lift in your spine. One more, so really getting that belly bonfire to awaken through the physical body too. Last one, and exhale, plant your hands. Take your hands behind you, fingertips face forward and feet to the floor quite snug into your heart. Wrap your arms around your body, give yourself a hug as you lean in, breathe down on the inhale. Exhale, pick it up from the root, squeeze and press the breath out. And then fingertips behind you, sweep your spine open so this is not happening because you're ready to have a nice solid foundation with the heart open. Come back into your center, inhale, reach. Twist over to the left hip, knees wide. You look to the right as you twist to the left. Center, inhale. Twist to the right hip, so my left hip is up and I look to the left. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left hip, spin to the right. Try this a couple more times, I know it's a bit complicated. Try inhale, center, exhale to the left hip, gaze to the right. Center, and then twist to the left. So try to keep that going for two more rounds. Lift your heart. One more, good, and then center, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, give yourself a hug, walk your hands in, lean into your breath. Take a deep breath down on the inhale. Exhale, pulse, and lift the breath up. Unravel yourself to an all fours position now at the top of your mat. Fingertips nice and wide. Let your fingertips get actively Engage to the earth, your gecko grip. Tuck your toes, deep breath in, and pulse your seat up. Begin to walk it out and take some nice downward dog pulses here. So you inhale to bend, and you exhale for a little length. Inhale, bend the limbs. Exhale, soften. Now with your breath here, find a downward dog where you're not straining, where you feel soft in the elbows, soft in the knees, and a nice, Balance between the weight in the arms and the weight in the legs. And then take a deep breath into your whole body, and as you exhale, stick the tip of your tongue towards your chin for your detox lion's breath. Try it now. Exhale. Stick your tongue up. One more. Exhale. Tip of the tongue towards the chin. You need to slowly walk your way forward until your feet land under your hips. Bend your knees a lot as you reach the top. Lean your hips back. Release and descend through your head. And wave side to side. Fingertips to the shins. Press into them to stimulate your arches. Inhale, halfway. 
Exhale, fold, break it down over your long legs. Fingertips to the shins, press, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release, seat back. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. Now keep your hips back and begin to slowly unravel up to stand. As if you're waving it up. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Collect your finger pads. Play mudra. Lower as you release your arms down. Follow with your eyes. Find your center point here and infuse the awareness back to your breath. Inhale, breathe in, expand the flame. Exhale, press the pelvic floor belly to collect back to center. Inhale, soften, feel space. Exhale, collect and gather your breath. Come up to the top of your mat. Let's have a core salutation together. We can invite our twisted circles today and our cobra waves. And we're going to introduce a little kick of fire just to get our energy up before we take a longer restorative. So you're at the top of the mat, bend the knees, and inhale, wave the arms up to the sky, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold to the earth. Fingertips to your shins, roll into halfway. Fingertips to the earth, slide down to your active palms, step back to downward dog. Downward dog, nice length, nice press of the feet and hands. Bend your knees, hips back, inhale, knees can be up or down. Roll up onto your tippy toes and circle forward into plank, knees up or down for plank. Whatever serves you best will create a stronger foundation. Tap the knees, lean the heart forward, keep your belly strong and connected while you lower. Plant your strong hands down. Toe tips down, three cobra waves. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, chin to chest, circle up, pubic bone stays down. Inhale, open, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, chin to chest, weave it up. Shoulders on the back, inhale. Exhale, lower, it's a four part breath. Here's your inhale. Exhale is to lift up through the core center. Inhale up here, exhale, lower halfway. Press your strong hands, lift your belly, either come to your knees or you can try your pointed plank on the tops of the feet and then tuck the toes and carry yourself back into downward dog. Inhale, bend the knees, raise the right leg up, kick it open and just bend your left knee and press out through your right. Inhale, bend the left knee, press out through your right leg. Lower the right foot down. Bend the limbs, raise the left leg up, inhale. Bend on the next inhale, exhale, press out through the left. Inhale, bend, exhale, press and reach. Beautiful inversion for your detox, exhale. Lower through your feet, take your hips back, inhale, and step to hop wherever you land, feet under hips. Curl up halfway, get long through your heart. Exhale, bend your knees, keep your knees back and fold. Sink your hips into a chair back there, sweep up through your belly and reach forward here and then pulse up and find your center good take your feet just a little bit wide turning your toe tips open even in the middle of your mat works and then as you sink back gather on the inhale and exhale collect stand up good inhale gather exhale try to keep your hips back as you sink into those hips exhale collect through your exhale which means from your core center inhale Maybe even hear your breath a little bit. Exhale. One more, swim it forward. And then all the way up, turn the toe tip center, reach the arms up, breathe in, look up. Collect your flame, follow with your eyes as you lower. Keep deep breath to your whole body here. Exhale, nice hug and lift. Pull the breath in and up. Release. Our next one, we're gonna add twisted circles and those Gentle kicks. So top of the mat, inhale, bend, fly up. Exhale, fold, bend your knees. Fingertips to the shins, grow halfway. Fingertips to the earth, slide to your palms, step back to downward dog. Your downward dog, notice your length. Notice if there's hyperextension in the joints, if the shoulders are hanging out by the ears. Bend the elbows and free them down on your back. 
Notice if you're evenly trying to press the heels down, then bend the knees, because the heels are ready for that. Deep breath down to your whole body. Exhale, lion's breath, stick the tip of your tongue to your chin, let it out. Inhale, breathe through the nose. Exhale, lion's breath, tip of the tongue towards the chin, let it out. Bend the knees, hips back, knees can come down. Lift up onto your tippy toes, wave into your plank. Maintain a plank that suits your body. Tap the knees down, collect through your core, lean into the center, breathe. Lower. One cobra wave, plant your feet. Inhale, prepare, exhale, chin to chest, circle up. Pubic bone down, open through the heart, inhale. Lower halfway, press your strong hands, come to your knees, or pointed plank. And transition, turning the toes back into dog. Inhale, bend the knees. Raise the right leg up, left knee stays down or bent, press up through the right foot. I'm going to keep my left knee bent, take the pressure off the lower back and pelvis, square the hips down. Exhale, curl your right knee in, core plank, step your right foot to your right hand. Lengthen, bend your right knee over your ankle, lift your hips, spine forward. Left hand can come to a block or the floor. Inhale, reach up, right arm. Exhale, bend, circle down, twisted circles. Inhale, lift, check out my right leg. My knee is not going to lengthen yet. Keep the right knee bent over the ankle to warm the muscle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, circle down. Follow your breath. Inhale, breathe down. Exhale, pick it up from the root. Pulse up. Inhale, open. Two more. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Good. Plant your hands nice and strong. Lift your hips up, plant into the earth, and step back with your leg in the air. Downward dog. Bend your knee as you get up there. Open your hip and square your shoulders down. We're going to take some circles here. So just inhale, open out, kick out. Exhale. One more. And then kick back. Beautiful inversion here. Lower. Deep breath. Tap the knees to the earth. Lean back. Lower your forehead to a block or the floor. One more breath. Feel the expansion of the inhale in the back of your heart and lungs. A nice pulsation active from pelvic floor to the front and back of your organs. Reach forward, glue your gecko grip down, tuck your toes, peel your pelvis up. Inhale, bend the knees, send the hips back. Exhale, lengthen, forward into plank. Keep a nice lift of your lower belly. Tap your knees, belly sticks, hugging in and up. Take some time on your exhale to lower. It might even be a couple breaths. Point your toenails, one cobra wave, inhale, prepare. Exhale, chin to chest, circle up from the earth. Inhale, shine your heart, saying yes to growth. Lower halfway. Press the hands, lift up to your knees or pointed plank and take it back, downward dog. Inhale, bend, raise the left leg skyward. Right knee stays bent. Inhale, exhale, just gently press out. And your next exhale, carve your left knee to your heart. Step your left foot forward. Twisted circle. Lengthen the spine. Left knee over the left ankle. Right hand to a block or the floor. Inhale, open up. Left arm. Exhale, circle down. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Four to five more circles. Stubbornly bending your front knee. Exhale, inhale, breathe down. Exhale, pick it up with that blow torch. Two more. And then one more. Reach and open. And then lower. Press your strong hands to the earth. Step back to your downward dog by extending your left leg up. Right knee stays bent. Open out to the right with your left foot. Shoulders want to tilt. Turn your shoulders down. 
Drop them from your ears and collect your core in and up through your exhale. And then circles with me. Inhale, bend in. Exhale, open. Inhale, bend. Exhale, open. One more. Plant down. A deep breath in. Plant your big toes together. Deep breath in. Bend everything back. And use that earth or that foundation to spring forward. Lengthen up halfway, fingertips to the floor or the shins. Exhale, release, bend your knees, give yourself a hug. Press into your strong feet, start to grow. Unravel the arms, inhale, reach to the sky. Collect your finger pads with a willingness to light up. Lower as you follow with your eyes. Find your center, find your breath. Feel your heart rate. Inhale, breathe and open. Exhale, collect from pelvic floor, squeeze the breath out. Everything has an intention. Walk to about the middle of your mat if you're not already. Hands to the hips. Take your right foot a few steps back. Keep a gentle bend into your front left knee. Not a full bend, but a half bend. From here, it's going to inhale. And then exhale, collect from the earth and pull up. Tap back, inhale, exhale. Inhale back, and then exhale, and then we'll grow into our tree pose on each side. So notice where we're going with it. Collection from your exhale through your front body can really light up here for you. Let's extend the right leg back. Press into your left heel and ball foot. So instead of leaning forward, try to sweep up, keep the back open, the heart open. Deep breath in, prepare, press into the roots of the earth. Exhale, collect, right knee draws in and up. Inhale, tap back, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Press into your left foot. Use your exhale, this time carve up through that exhale. Open out to the side, plant your foot on your lower calf or your inner thigh, above or below your knee. Keep opening, but keep the head light of the hips forward. Gather up through center, collect your flame. Inhale, send it out to the sky. Exhale, open your branches. And notice that you may waver, and that's okay. Is that exactly what challenges are about? What uncertainty, what fear represents is that wind, that movement. So where is the foundation in all of that? And then collect back to center, sweep up through the belly, your exhale is there, your shoulders and face are soft. Lower to the earth, fold over your long legs, reach to the earth. Inhale, lengthen from it. Exhale, send the hips back. Gather, start to curl up. Keep your feet down, inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower, hands to the hips, step your left foot back a few steps. Press into your right foot here. Stay on the ball of your left foot. Inhale, open your heart, lean back into it rather than forward. Press and exhale, collect, left knee in. Inhale, tap back, lean back. Exhale. Let your exhale carry you there all the way from your root up to your core. Inhale, exhale. Two more. So one more carries you into your growth. Sweep up, open, plant your foot either at your calf, down here, or higher to your inner thigh, up here, above or below your knee, doesn't matter where, make it a stable place. Hips wanna hike up, sweep them down, gather, collect your flame. Inhale, reach up to the sky, and then open your branches as wide as you wish. Sweep up through your belly and feel yourself rise from the roots of your right leg. If you waver, let that be good, let that be okay. Let that represent all the change that is on the horizon right now to be exactly what it is, a shift in consciousness, a growth, time to awaken, time to light the awareness. Deep breath right down on the inhale, a nice pulsation of your root up on the exhale. And gently release, collect your flame, tap your feet down, fold to the surface of the earth. 
Curl up halfway, lengthen. Exhale, step back to your last downward dog. Walk it out a little bit. Plant your knees lightly to the earth. Come to sit. Inhale, stretch up. Turn to the right. Peek over your right shoulder, or you can even take your hand to your hip. Inhale, open. Exhale, sweep up through the breath. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, wave up. Turn it over to the left. Left hand can come to the waist. Sweep long. Breathe and open through your left shoulder, your neck, and your head. Breathe down on each inhale. Drop shoulders from ears, neck long. Sweep up through each exhale. And then inhale, center. Connect your flame. Look up. And start to lower. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, pour the breath up and out. Let's begin to take our final restorative section. Right? So you're going to need that large towel close by as well. But our first one will be right here on our knees. If you feel that your knees are sensitive just simply sitting like this, then use this as a prop. You either will need it right here, or you will need it in front of you, flattened out, if your knees are sensitive. I'm going to show you from the back so you know where we're going. So for this one, it's toe stretch. Again, starts to light up that foundation. Everything sits right here and then rises. And sometimes it drops down. So let's give this space a little bit of love. Tuck your toes under so the fascia of your feet open. If this is too much and you can't get your hips to your heels, because that is based on your bones and mobility of the front of your thighs. You can do this. So try it, whichever version works for you. Sit back into it for a minute. Plant your hands to your thighs. And then as you may open or close your eyes, if they're open, look at one point forward of you to create a focal point. There will be sensation in the feet. It is very normal. Breathe down on the inhale. Sink the breath to your roots. Breathe up on the exhale. So here, this posture on the physical spectrum represents the resistance towards change, towards uncertainty, towards fear, towards challenges. And that is human nature. Let your inhale soften that resistance. And let your exhale dedicate to burn it out to say yes to it, to say, okay, I'm going to lean into this. I'm going to move towards growth. I'm going to see what's here in terms of a teaching form. Take two more breaths with me. I know you're feeling it. One more. And then plant your hands down. Gently come off the weight. You can even take your toes and tap them lightly or circle them if that's okay for your knees. Counter stretch to this, and of course you may use your towel again, is to simply sit on your heels, take your hands back, and of course you can place some blocks here if that feels comfortable, and gently lean back. I'm not looking for any big movement here, but as you lean back, your spine wants to collapse. Lift it open. Take a deep, full breath here. Breathe down to your whole body. Exhale, squeeze up. Let your pulsation represent that dedication to saying yes, I do accept this change. I'm ready to see what it has to teach me. Inhale, breathe down, soften for space. Exhale, collect from the roots, squeeze the belly in and up. Inhale, release, make space. Exhale, pick it up from pelvic floor to lower belly, feel that low torch start to rise. And then gently come off, walk, yourself forward. We'll remove the towel to the side. You may take it in a little bit. So for our next restorative, holding on a little longer today, I'm going to go ahead and give you an option. Option one is to take the puppy pose, where of course you can use a block for your forehead or a towel. Puppy pose means the hips are way up here. They're not down by the heels, and you've got more of a sensation of the armpits 
heart, neck, shoulder area. It's almost like you're stretching or leaning forward. Option two is to come into your tadpole, which then you may need the towel to go across while you open up your knees and keep your toe tips together. And your tadpole, you can take your towel either to support your knees or you can place it here and lower down, taking the head to either one side or just simply folding through. Try not to smush your face into anything, of course. So take the option you want to now, and then we'll dive into a few minutes spent there, releasing. This one's great for lower back and hips, whereas the first one's nice for upper body. So once you've chosen your option, go ahead and find your way into it now. And then begin to invite your breath. Inhale, breathe down. Exhale, let the breath pulse up. Notice where you can surrender, such as the muscles of your face. Breathe into your whole back body on your inhale. And release through your whole front and back body on your exhale. If there's any, been any mental resistance around anything, take this as an opportunity to spark a light that may begin to dissolve that resistance. Keep breathing fully to the whole body and exhaling fully. Stay as long as you can until I indicate it's time to come out. Centering to your breath, creating it as an anchor there for you to spiral back and front. Notice your shoulders, if you're in puppy pose, are on your back, and that your neck and head are comfortable in the position you've chosen. Begin to now invite your last 10 breaths here, slow, with your focus, breathing down on the inhale and circling up to lift through the breath on the exhale, circling down on the inhale and spiraling up on the exhale. Nice rhythmic rotation of your breath. Take five more counts on your own. Four more. Two more. Slowly and gently ease out of each variation and do anything you need to counter, whether it be a full and downward dog or stretch your legs forward, whatever feels good for you. Our next one, we're going to come to our belly. So for your next restorative, you're going to need this towel as a support for your neck. We did it last time, I think, on this type of style. And it's great for this area, getting right into the arms, the shoulders, and the neck. Let's give that a try with the towel at the top of your mat. You're going to go ahead and just place the weight lightly on your belly. Okay, extend your right arm out like this. Your palm should face down. There should be a support for your neck. And then turn your right ear to the towel with your right arm extended. Go ahead and take your left leg over. And then take your left arm just to support you here. Try your best to keep your neck long and you might need to adjust this arm just so you get a nice steady kind of release. Your right palm should be flat to the earth. A deep full breath down on your inhale, breathe towards the lower pelvis. And use that exhale to hug up through the whole body. Soften your gaze. Try to ease into whatever this is for you today. Whatever is 
resistance you may be holding, bring attention to that part of the body. So just take one more minute here, feeling a nice release across the front of your right shoulder and perhaps down your arm. It may even be worth it to kind of trickle your hands up and see if that feels better or trickle them down. Just find your edge of stretch. Relax the shoulders on your back. Lengthen your neck and surrender anything in the face here. If this is uncomfortable with the foot, you can bring it back over here. It doesn't have to look the way I do. It will be to your own unique body. Now gently take a deep breath in. Exhale, pour it out. Step your left leg back. Turn to your belly. Bring yourself onto your forearms for a moment. Release your head. Roll it side to side. And we begin on the other side now. So if you find your towel to be too high, you can always lower it a little bit. Left arm. Begin to extend your left arm out with your palm facing into the earth. So hand face down. Take your left ear and then step your right leg over. You can use your right hand to support you. You can place it here. If your neck is uncomfortable, use it to support you. Keep your neck nice and long and walk with your fingertips back there on your left hand, either gently up or down. Your left hand should be facing down. Take a deep breath. And exhale, let it out, arrive. See where you can relax through your shoulders, your neck. Feel an ease of breath down your spine. But still, the pulsation is evident from the root of your core. And that light never goes out. It just needs a reminder Turn it up. Breathe fully down, soften to the root. Wave, wave up on your exhale. Nice, consistent in breath to follow your out breath. Relax your shoulders. Let's take a couple more breaths here. Align your back and most importantly your head. 
on your block. Then rest your palms face up and separate your arms from your heart. Take a deep full breath and fill up this whole front body today. So a lot of front body breath. And exhale, start to slowly empty it out. Allow your hips to drop into and towards the earth. Here, again, scan the body for any resistance, anything that may be holding back or holding you back. It could be in the face, the jaw, throat, the arms, the low back, the belly, or the hips or legs. As you scan, Bring your attention to any resistance that you may notice. And then light up the attention of your breath. Inhale, breathe down. Create a nice, full release. Exhale, actively lift. Less of an orange flame, more of a lighter, subtle blue flame. And she was just a girl. Breathe down on each inhale. She expected a word. Sweep up through each out breath. Find your stillness. Find your edge of surrender. When and how and where do you stop resisting? When do you just soften? In acceptance. Saying yes to growth. Saying yes to the lesson. And saying yes to just being exactly where you are. Let's enjoy five to ten, depending how fast or slow you're breathing. Rest here. through that inhale and then 
gently begin to lower your feet to the earth. Once your feet find the floor, remove the block from beneath the sacrum, lower your pelvis down, placing the block to the side. Hug your knees to your heart, small circles to one side, and then the other. Plant your feet flat, knock your knees to the right, open your arms briefly out. Breathe to your whole front left side. Exhale, empty. Knock your knees over to your left, windshield wiper, arms stay in extension, deep full breath to your whole front and back body. Exhale, empty. And then prepare for relaxation. So whatever that may look for, look for you, it might be that you need a towel under your legs if your lower back gets tight. Or it may be that you need a towel over you if you're cold. But slowly begin to sink back into your relaxation on your back. Lay all the way down. And lengthen your legs. Lengthen your arms. Take a deep, full breath into your whole body. Let it out through the nose or mouth, whatever comes natural. Palms face up. Shoulders melt back. Arm bones sink all the way to the palms. Soften your face, close your eyes, and let your eyes draw back. Relax through your forehead, the skin on your face. Surrender the weight of your jaw so your tongue releases from the roof of the mouth. Relax through the throat, the back of your neck, the back of your skull. Relax the active brain, allowing it to still just for a moment. Soften through your chest, ease the ribcage, breathe naturally into your belly. The weight of your hips melt down as you relax the bottom. And feel a wave of relaxation sweep down your legs towards your ankles and into your feet. Soften through the whole back body, giving yourself permission to melt down. Breathe gently in silence.
breath into your body as you come back to it. Perhaps start to wiggle your fingers. Feel your toes. Ready to come out, begin to lengthen through your arms, through your feet, and stretch from your fingertips down to your toes. Feel another breath, draw forward. your knees to your heart, make small circles, rolling in and to the side, out to the side, and then shift those circles in the opposite direction. Take your time to roll over to the right side. to come up to sit. As you find your center point, cup your right hand in your left, seated, hands in the lap. Take a moment to breathe deep and notice how you feel. As you've completed your practice, understanding that yoga is the practice of holding center in the midst of challenge, in the midst of movement, when people in life will test you, we can use this space to clear, to stay balanced, to understand what and who serves us and what and who depletes us. To find that balance that we have to continue to come back to. Plant your hands together Thank yourself for dedicating this time to your health. 